The BGM-71 TOW is an American anti-tank missile. The TOW replaces much smaller missiles such as the SS.10 and NTAC, offers roughly twice the effective range, a more powerful warhead, and a much improved semi-automatic command of line of sight SACLOS, that can also be equipped with a camera infrared for nighttime. The name TOW is derived from an acronym that includes the description, tube-launched, optically tracked, wire command data link, guided missile, which specifically describes its function. Similarly, the BGM designation awkwardly abbreviates the multiple environment surface attack missile. BGM-71 TOW First produced in 1970, the TOW is one of the most widely used anti-tank guided missiles. These anti-tank missiles are widely used in helicopters and come in a variety of hand-carried and vehicle-mounted configurations. The minimum armament range for the BGM-71 TOW is 35 meters, while the maximum effective range for the BGM-71 TOW is 1750 meters. Development of the TOW system began from 1963 to 1968, under the leadership of the Hughes Aircraft Company, and was originally known by its development name, XBGM-71. After a period of testing and evaluation, the TOW was officially accepted into serial production in 1968, and officially entered service in 1970. Since then, the weapon type has become one of the most widely accepted anti-tank missile systems. In 1997, Raytheon Company purchased Hughes Electronics from General Motors Corporation, resulting in the development and production of TOW systems now under the Raytheon brand. The BGM-71 TOW was first used in the Vietnam War, where it was mounted on an XM-26 or Bell A-1 Huey helicopter mount. By then, the TOW missile had successfully been fired against NVC tanks on May 2, 1972, and, overall, its debut in the war proved its effectiveness in combat and laid the foundation for increased production and use over the coming decades. In recent years, TOW has evolved into a more finely tuned weapon system, capable of engaging all manner of targets beyond armored fighting vehicles, and now including the destruction of fortifications. It was used in the anti-armor, anti-bunker, anti-fortification, and anti-amphibious landing roles. TOW operates with more than 45 militaries and is integrated on more than 15,000 ground platforms, vehicles, and helicopters worldwide. The BGM-71 TOW has a conventional aerodynamic shape characterized by a well-contoured body with a short nose cone. Four springs were installed amidships and aft to help stabilize the missile during flight, extending immediately after launch. The warhead is located at the front of the missile as a guidance center, while the motor and fuel storage are at the back. TOW ranges in thickness from 430 mm to approximately 630 mm, depending on the production model. The TOW is an optically tracked line of sight, loss, weapon, and visual engagement of the target is an important quality to consider when the missile is launched. The operator must have the target visible during the precise flight time of the missile, as the attached guide cables provide corrective information to the flight path after launch. Therefore, the operator must keep the target in sight during the entire missile flight after launch. The TOW missile system has been in service since 1970, and more than 700,000 TOW weapon systems have been delivered to the U.S. Army and Allied military forces to date. The TOW missiles continued to be improved, with the improved TOW, ITO, missile appearing in 1978, which had a new long probe triggered warhead that was lengthened after launch, giving it a standby range of 15 in 380 mm for better armor penetration. The 1983 TOW 2 featured a larger 5.9 kg warhead with a 21.25 inch 540 mm extendable probe, better guidance, and motors providing about 30% more thrust followed by TOW 2AB, which appeared in 1987. Hughes developed the TOW missile with a wireless data link in 1989, designating it the TOW 2N, but this weapon was not adopted for use by the US military. Raytheon continued to develop improvements to the TOW line, but the FOT, follow on to TOW, program was cancelled in 1998, and the TOW French Frank, TOW Fire and Forget program was discontinued on November 30, 2001, due to limited funds.
In 2001 and 2002, Raytheon and the U.S. Army worked together on the long-range TOW-2B variant, originally designated as TOW-2B-ER, but now called TOW-2B Aero, which is a special nose flap that increases the range to 4.5 kilometers. The TOW-2 missile system was first deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, which was the first operational firing of the TOW-2B missile. The missile can be fired from the ground using a tripod-mounted or vehicle-mounted launch tube. The tow missile system can be mounted as a single tube mount on military vehicles or as a two or four tube armored system on vehicles such as the M901 upgraded tow vehicle, Desert Warrior, Piranha, U.S. Marine Corps LAV, Dardo Hitfist, and Bradley M2 M3. Despite all that, the tow missile is a very powerful anti-vehicle weapon, very effective against stationary or slow-moving vehicles, and it can deal critical damage to most vehicles, no matter where you hit them. 